Back in 2016, Rihanna left us hanging in a music drought void of new releases. Everybody is Riri, where for have you been? She gave us lingerie lines and relationship headlines before announcing she's hitting the Super Bowl and then delivered a taste of new music on the Wakanda Forever soundtrack. Lift me up. But what will taking the world's biggest stage mean for Riri? What will it add to her massive legacy? And what can we expect from the big show? This is Billboard Explains how Rihanna arrived at the Super Bowl. It's gonna be a halftime show like none other. Super Bowl 57 will take place Sunday, February 12, 2023 at Glendale, Arizona State Farm Stadium, seeing the Kansas City Chiefs face the Philadelphia Eagles. But music fans are calling it the Rihanna concert. Adele has said the SOS singer is the only reason she is even showing up. Rihanna even released official merch with a shirt that says, Rihanna concert interrupted by a football game. Weird, but whatever. So how did we arrive at Rihanna? The global superstar has a staggering 14 number one hits on the Billboard Hot 100. I hope she does all of them. We could just take over the whole game. Yeah, you know? yeah. She's released eight studio albums and conquered seven concert tours. With a history like that, what can we expect? The show has seen massive performances from Michael Jackson, NSYNC and Britney Spears, Madonna, Beyonce, Twice, and more. What goes into the halftime extravaganza? Jay-Z and Rock Nation began overseeing the Super Bowl halftime show in 2020, and on average, each show costs $13 million. And what can we expect after her big return to music? Super Bowl halftime performers don't get paid for the big gig, but normally see a huge bump in merchandise and music sales. Fans have been begging the Barbadian Queen for a new album. This highly anticipated Super Bowl halftime show has fans begging for new music, as the superstar has not put out an album since 2016. And will we see her take her show on the road? Madonna, The Weeknd, and Beyonce all announced massive tours accompanying their halftime performances. No matter what happens at the Rihanna concert on February 12th, it's almost guaranteed her reign will never let up. Yeah, Rihanna, rain just gone.